Hey guys, Doa back to talk about another card from the new Hearthstone expansion, Whispers of the Old Gods, and I'm going to try something a little bit different going forward. Whenever a new card is released, I'm just going to do a video about it then, so that's going to mean a lot of two to five minute videos, something I'm hoping is more easily digestible, easily uh, watchable, but let me know. I'm curious about what you think. Do you like the shorter videos about one or two cards, or do you prefer something longer, like I wait and then do a longer one about, you know, ten cards or something? Uh, leave a comment, tweet at me at ggdoa, let me know. Uh, let's move into today's card, which is the Claxi Amber Weaver. It's a Druid class card, 4 for a 4 5. And this is interesting, actually, because up until now, the Cthulhu related cards we've seen have only been neutral minions. This is our first class minion uh, Cthulhu related card. And Blizzard has already said there's going to be 16 of these in the set, 16 cards that specifically interact with Cthulhu. And now it's looking like each class is going to get their own, you know, maybe one or two cards that deal with Cthulhu. So that does change things up a little bit. That does reduce the amount of Cthulhu cards you can have in your Cthulhu deck. So I'm kind of curious how that's all going to work together. But this is a card that addresses a lot of the things that we talked about in the last video where when you play those other minions, the ones that just simply buff Cthulhu, you don't really get anything uh, big on the board at the time. You get pretty good stats for the mana value, but you don't you don't get any battle cry that helps your board state, you don't get a death rattle that helps your board state. It all goes to buffing Cthulhu for that big, big turn later on in the game. This card, however, does affect your board state immediately in that it gets potentially a very large body that your opponent has to deal with. You could possibly get a 410, the battle cry is if your Cthulhu has at least 10 attack, gain plus 5 health. So, I think there's two things to kind of consider with this. One is that, again, just for the mana, it's good stats, 4 for a 4-5, it's a chill wind yeti. Um, it's a card that's going to be difficult for your opponent to deal with in general. It's a good thing to put down on curve. But what I'm really wondering is, what is the viability going to be as far as getting this guy to be a 410 on curve, because obviously having a 410 on curve is enormously powerful. We already know what a big difference a card like Deathlord can make at 3-8 for 3 mana. Um, obviously there's a big difference where this card doesn't have taunt, but the benefit is that obviously you don't give your opponent dominion like you do with the Deathlord, and this guy still has the ability at 410 to trade really favorably with your opponent's minions. So if you're playing against something that's more mid-range or really any kind of early game your opponent's trying to put together, this card can really deal with it and allow you to handle multiple threats without expending more cards from your hand to do that. And that's a big deal if we're talking about the issue that I mentioned in the last video where survival is going to be the key with these Cthulhu decks. You know, how are you going to survive to turn 10 to play this huge Cthulhu, this big battle cry that eliminates the board and hopefully your opponent? How do you make it to that point? And this is a card that kind of addresses it. It is a Druid-only card, so of course, you know, that affects decks with just one class. I think there's going to need to be cards like this for every class, or at least cards like this in the neutral pool as well, because survival is going to be key. And with cards like Pile to Shredder, Sludge Belcher, Shield of Minibot, with all of those going away, we're going to need new survival options for slower decks, uh, especially in classes like Paladin, I think, if they're going to want to run Cthulhu. So it's going to be interesting to see going forward how more cards interact with Cthulhu in a specific class sense, as opposed to the neutral minion sense. And uh, it makes makes me a little bit nervous, honestly. I, I wanted a, a big Cthulhu card pool out of the neutral side of things to fit into any deck, but having class-specific ones is, is interesting too. So I think this is a great card. I think it will be very, very good, and it'll be a must-include in any Druid Cthulhu deck. And I'm curious to see uh, what's coming next. So yeah, that's about it for this card. Again, you know, let me know if you prefer these shorter videos or you want something a little bit longer. Leave comments, let me know. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you uh, for the next card reveal.